This week's Color Rescue is a continuation of the transition house that I've been working on. This is the third suite. And this week, I'm walking you through how I decorated the rooms. I'm walking you through 16 expert decorating and styling tips. So it doesn't matter what how much your furniture is, what it looks like, there are so many different ways that you can add some styling magic to your home. Because as I've said before, it doesn't matter how expensive your furniture is. If the space is not styled, it's still missing a look and a feel. So let's get started. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here at Wilma's Transition Society and I'm decorating suites for a space that had been, they'd moved out of it, they had a new space, 18 suites, and there was a fire right before Christmas. So then they had to scramble to get these suites ready again, and my friend Gail put it out, put the word out, and said she was looking for furniture pieces and some art. And I said, Gail, I'm your girl. So I have been um, decorating these suites. It's so fun. That's my favorite thing to do, is to style up a space where someone has like no idea what the heck is just about to happen, right? Just because it actually costs less than you think to have a space that's styled and that feels like home and that you don't ever want to leave. So in this particular suite, it started, the color scheme started, I had a client that I had bought these, or I, I had specified these cute little navy and white buffalo check chairs. So she donated them. So then I remembered I had these fuchsia drapes in my last house and they've been sitting in a bag ever since. I'm not going to introduce pink in my new house, plus they're not long enough. So I thought, let me bring them in here. So we got these fabulous taffeta custom drapes hanging in this suite. And so then the color scheme, of course, had to go with it. So I got some art. We're going to talk to Trisha in the next episode. She's my director of e-design and she's also an artist and she worked in an art gallery for nine years. So she helps to pull me away from the flowers that I love to gravitate toward. So we created some more symmetry in this space because it's a more formal room. So we started with the art about the sofa and then the pieces on both sides. So notice it always looks so much better when you create a bit of a gallery wall, if you've got the space on your walls, you need more art than you think. So it looks a lot better than just throwing the art one piece up above the sofa. Now, another trick that I just figured out because I walked into HomeSense and they had this fabulous like faux fur, look at how long it is. If you have a tired looking sofa, this is a great way to make it feel a little less tired just to cover up the back cushions that can really get, you know, shoved down by kids and dogs and cats. Now, of course, I use the color balancing method here. We repeated the pink, small, medium, and large in the art and the pillows. So that was super fun. And then uh, all the rest, I mean, all this stuff was also donated. We got this cherry, um, coffee table and look at how sweet it looks with just the little gold leaf sitting on top of it. And then another cherry table here with some more modern white chairs that were donated, which add a little fresh. Again, the suite got the um, dogwood branches from Ikea. And then this corner, this corner kind of makes it feel like, you know, it's just part of the dining room, right? This section, this was a donated piece, but it kind of picks up the moody glam vibe of the room. This was also donated, but it had a very bad lampshade. So I bought a new linen looking white one. It's totally great. And look at how I have lit up the four corners of the room with lighting. So this was also a high boy that was donated. And it kind of makes the TV that's well, it was installed a little too high, but we didn't have any volunteers to move it down. So I installed it right here. 
and it just kind of fills up that space below the TV. So that's a good little hot tip as well. Now, you'll notice there are no carpets in these suites and that is because they don't want to manage the cleaning of them and that's why they're carpetless. All right. Oh, let's talk about the kitchen for a minute. So we found a sweet little piece of art with a navy frame and because it's sort of so bright, it takes up the whole little spot visually. And then of course the lamp, don't forget, we always need a lamp. So come with me to see the bedrooms. All right, now we had to create a little moment in the hallway. This was a mirror that was literally sitting in my garage for years. It was inexpensive, but it fit the glam vibe and we need a place to put your lipstick on. Someone donated these sweet little um, red pieces of art. And the reason why they didn't go in there because that room was more pink. So I thought, well, bring the red in here, but you still kind of feel the same color scheme, right? Okay, so now here we are in the black and white room. So I bought this from Ikea. And then as I shopped around for art and pillows and stuff, I thought, you know, again, it looks kind of bitty if you take a neutral room and then just throw in like, oh, pink pillows and oh, like a pink piece of art. There's just not enough of pink. So I decided to make this room the black and white room. Now, notice I did not do solid pillows here, right? This could have been a houndstooth check as well, but it just kind of lightens it up. Looks great with toile. Like it actually, when you have toile bedding, you know, they, you tend to do toile in the whole room. That's just kind of the way it is. So yeah, so the mirror, the strong horse, the strong woman. Good inspiration for the special woman that will be in here with her kids. Okay, moving on to the bedroom. Okay, now this room was completely inspired by this bedding that I found from Ikea. Um, super sweet. There are going to be two girls in here and of course I had to get accent pillows which kind of repeat the orange donated dresser i found this fabulous gourd lamp from home sense 40 dollars come on so good and then look at these look at look at we have the the brother and the sister and i know that these will last about 30 seconds they were dried from my last garden but they fit the color scheme these are just plant pots and then i found this um this little hat, stuck them here. We got some art, I love you to the moon and back. And then what we did over here was when I was actually in HomeSense with the pillowcase, I shopped with the pillowcase, um, I kind of liked the way that the art up here, the leaves just visually, it's almost like the pattern is repeated again in the corner and I kind of thought that was fun. And of course the bunk beds have lights, all right? Don't put bunk beds up for your kids without these lights. So these are from Ikea. They also have, um, they've got a couple different kinds of lights. So it's just nice. Now I don't think, oh yeah, these, do these actually? Oh, look at that. Oh, how fabulous. And then a little shelf for a glass of water perhaps, or a treasure. Then the bathroom again. Again, the bathroom. Got a little Ralph Lauren um, shower curtain that picks up the blue floor. Okay, we're working with the blue, we're not ignoring it. This was a little donated print. And then I love these little realistic looking daffodils from Ikea as well. Don't forget to put these things in cute little baskets, the little seashell, and there's the bathroom.
That is suite number three. If you like this content, please like and subscribe below. And if you have a home that needs a color rescue and you're somewhere in the lower mainland, I'll include the link where you can apply to have me come to your home to give it a little styling magic. And if you need help putting a room like this together, what you need is a mood board. It's what all professional decorators and designers use. They create a mood board, put everything together on a page so that you can see, does that coffee table you're about to buy look really good with that end table? Because sometimes when you introduce something new into a room, it kind of deletes the other piece. So then you got to decide, do I like the end table more or the coffee table more? And like that. So it's an easy to digest course that you can buy on my shop page. I'll post the link below, it has three modules and downloadables and every day someone sends me an email telling me how much they got out of it. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.